we are going to see about forceps this video contains almost all the information you need about forceps in obstetrics <clears throat> now there are four types of uh, forceps high forceps mid forceps low forceps and outlet forceps these three things you don't need to remember so don't waste time on it outlet forceps are only forceps that we use nowadays and that also in a very specific condition for example the head station should be more than plus 2 the head should reach uh, must be reached at pelvic floor and the scalp is visible at the introitus without you need to separate the labia okay so only this condition is now applicable for forceps application so it's almost outdated now but still we need to learn and sometimes it is really useful Wrigley's forceps are the only forceps that is used in India and we use nowadays. Okay, this is the Wrigley forceps. You need to identify the parts of the forceps for your practical exam purpose. For example, these are the two blades of the forceps, right and left blades. This is the cephalic cow. Why it is cephalic cow? Because it holds the cephalum, that is head of the baby. This is the pelvic cow. This one. You will uh, really see the uh, very good in this process. This is the pelvic cow. Okay, this is how you hold the pelvic, uh, the forceps in reality. So, pelvic cow is here. Now, these are the uh, shanks and these are the handles. This thing is a lock. Is the English type of lock is there. For anyone who can ask in viva or like that another forceps hardly we sometimes use this piper's forceps they, they are used for after coming head of the breech delivery okay uh, and you remember why uh, because the shank in this forceps is longer than the Wrigley's forceps that's only this only information you need to know about the forceps now what are the indication when you need to see the uh, go for the forcer? Practically saying, there is no indication at, at this time for the forcer. Forceps are only used when we have no other option available, or we don't have a no, uh, no logistics are available. Only that time we need to use the forceps. What is the most common condition when we use the forceps? Whenever there is a, almost we have reached to the end of the second stage of the labor. And now the labor is not progressing. Okay, we, we already reached to the plus two station. The head is already at plus two station. There is no pelvic, uh, what to say, there is no pelvic contraction at all. There is no CPD. But because of some reasons, from this stage, the labor is not progressing. The head is not progressing out. And for this time, we use what? Forceps. To save the uh, patient from caesarean section. This is the only reason why we use the forceps. The maternal distress should be, uh, sometimes maternal distress is there, exhausting things, she cannot push longer. The fetal distress is ongoing and the maternal efforts are not very adequate. Sometimes we need to cut short the second stage of labor with some uh, with uh, very severe organic heart disease with the mother, very severe preeclampsia. In all these cases, when we need to cut short the second stage, we can use the forceps but again it's not the hard and fast indication of the forceps remember the very old minomic of uh, prerequisite conditions for forceps is the forceps you can see here f means favorable position and station what is favorable position 
vertex position and station is more than plus 2 more than equal to first two. O means fully dilated O's rupture membrane or should be membrane should be ruptured already there should be some contraction of the uterus without contraction you cannot apply the forceps episiotomy should be given and wide episiotomy should be given to uh, minimize the perineal injury bladder should be empty and pelvis should be adequate for the head these are the prerequisite of forceps if any one of this is not there you cannot progress with forceps so remember this thing now severe contraindication absolute contraindications are contracted pelvis hiv mother and fetal coagulopathy fetal maternal coagulopathy this is these are some con uh, exact contraindication of forceps now what is the complication for uh, with the forceps we have complication more over to the mother and perineal injury is the most common complication it's very difficult to repair after that so try to avoid forceps delivery but if you are applying the forceps you must be expecting a very very good amount of perineal injury fetus there is also very uh, not very good like it can happen facial nerve palsy skull fracture branchial plexus palsy corneal abrasion all these things can happen with the forceps how many attempts you can do you can attempt three maximum attempts you can apply if all three are a failure then don't go for the fourth just go for cesarean section the very important thing that every time is missed is how much the traction force should be applied what is the maximum traction force this you cannot like just uh, stretch or give the traction of the uh, forceps too much you know just 10 kg or maximum 15 kg force you can apply to take the baby out from the pelvis okay and how you can me measure this thing you have to practice this thing with 10 or 15 kg of the weight every day now how to apply we have a separate video kindly go through that thank you for listening